Alright, we're looking at 6.2, Addition of Vectors. A parallelogram law for the addition of vectors, and there is a triangle law of addition of vectors. So the first thing we're looking at is how to make a parallelogram when we're adding two vectors. Say we have vector A. From vector A, we add another vector B, such that the angle between the two, vector A and vector B, is theta. What we can do is create an addition statement of the two vectors, A plus B. And how do we create these vectors, A plus B? The other law of addition we're looking at is where we have vector a and b and the angle between the two vectors is theta and we're going to use a triangle to find how to create the uh, the addition of two vectors let's say in this case a plus b for a parallelogram what we do is you would create a copy of vector A, a copy of vector B, so these are both copies. Vector A is here, it's a copy of vector B and, sorry, vector A, and the other one is a copy of vector B. Now what happens here is we want to create A plus B to create something, a, a a vector that represents a plus b. In order to have a plus b, we must find from end to end, so from tail to head, tail to head. Looking at this diagram, starting with a, we want to create tail to head an a plus b vector. So here what we have is going to be a over here, this a right here, plus b, and from tail to head, we will create this magical vector called a plus b. So using a bright red marker, we can see from here, sorry, back again, from the bottom of a, the tail of a, to the head of b, this new vector I just created is known as vector A plus B. In the triangle law of addition, what that means is that we will create a triangle. So instead of a parallelogram, like this one where we have a parallelogram, we can create a triangle law of addition. And that means by creating vector A plus vector b, we can create our a plus b vector. And the only way we can do that is we need vector b to be the head and vector a to be the tail. So we can extend vector a from behind like this so that we can have vector a plus b look like this. So again, we extend vector A so that we have tail of A to head of B to create vector A plus vector B. All right, let's look at another example. In this case, example number one, you're asked to determine a vector equal to each sum. So let's say we have vector A, B plus vector B, C. What happens here? Well, let's write all the different examples first. Vector AD plus vector CE plus vector DC plus vector EH. What happens over here? How do we get these values? Well, let's look at how we can determine this. Well, from in this case, vector A, B to B, C will create our vector 
A, B, let's try it again. Let's write the arrows down. So A to B right here, then B to C right here. What is our resulting vector? Well, from tail to head, that will be vector AC. So vector AB plus vector ABC will result in the vector AC. So let's look at part B. What will that answer be? Vector AD plus vector CE plus vector DC plus vector EH. Well, if we erase what we have in the previous question, just erasing all of this, and we want to create all these vectors, you'll notice right away that once we write A to D, well, it doesn't connect C to E. So we have C to E right here, and then we have D to C. So one more time again, A to D is this one. C to E is this one over here. And we have D to C, which is this one right here. And then we have E to H. E to H, which is from here to here. Okay, so what we need to do is rearrange this in order to connect it properly. A, D plus DC plus CE plus EH. What will that result in? Well, let's follow along. A to D, D to C, C to E, E to H, tail to head means that our final answer, it will be the following, A, all the way over, folks, to H, from tail to head. The result will be vector A, H. All right, let's continue. The difference of two vectors, A, vector A minus vector B, means that vector B has changed direction so that no longer is the head on this side but the head now changes so that the head will be going in the opposite direction and that will be your negative b so it's kind of like saying a plus negative b so it's kind of like well it is like saying vector a plus negative b and negative b is just the b vector change direction so you have negative b and as a result we actually have our tail to head vector going like this and that's vector a minus vector b all right let's look at example number two in the rectangular box shown below oa is equal to vector a OC is equal to vector B, and OD is equal, to, is equal to vector C. And you're to express each of the following vectors in terms of A, B, and C. So now what we need to look at in this drawing right here is what is BC equal to? So we want B to C in this direction. What, does that e what is that equivalent to? Hopefully, you're all looking at this and saying that the answer to this is, sorry, let's go back. The answer to this is, hopefully you're thinking about it and saying that the answer to BC is actually negative A. Because it's going in the A direction. It's the same length of A, but in the opposite direction. Now, let's look at the next one. What is it when we see G F? G to F looks like this, G to F. What matches G to F? Hopefully, you're all seeing this very quickly and saying that, oh, that matches vector A. 
Let's go from O to B. O to B. O over here in this corner going in over towards B. What does OB equal? Well, now in order to get from O to B, you must take vector A, the tail of vector A, and add vector B, and that should give you OB. So it's vector A plus vector B. Because again, if you're following along with the finger, it's saying vector A across here, going up this way to get to OB, and that, my fo and folks, is vector B. So A plus B is the vector OB. Vector AC. Vector AC is going to be going from A to C in this direction. What will that be? Well, that will be A, it will be negative A plus B or B minus A. Vector B minus vector A. And BG is equal to BG going from here to here is going to equal, let's see, negative A plus C. So, that one, BG, will be negative A plus C or C minus A. Last one, O to F. O to F is equal to from here to here, and O to F is a combination of A plus B plus C. And we'll look at that in the next, start with that in the next video. So again, we'll see you in the next video, folks. Take care.